Hello, everyone. My name is Rebecca Mueller, and I am one of the assistant directors of recruitment here at the University of Buffalo School of Management. Welcome to our Meet the Executive in Resident Accounting Edition question and answer Q&A period. So just to give you a little bit of a background at what exactly is an executive in residence, it's something that the School of Management has quite a few of. These folks are leaders who really leverage their extensive experience in a particular industry to enhance the school's programs, provide real-world real learning opportunities for students, and connect the school with top organizations in their respective fields. So we are joined today by our executive in residence for the MS Accounting Program, Mike Draves. So thank you so much for joining us today, Mike. Thanks, Rebecca. Glad to be here. So before we get started, I wanted to just give you a brief bio on our wonderful guest. So Mike Draves brings more than 25 years of industry experience to his role in the School of Management. Prior to his retirement from KPMG in 2021, Draves served as partner in Upstate New York Audit Practice Leader, providing professional audit services to multinational, mid-market, and emerging companies in such industries as manufacturing, distribution, contracting, technology, and telecommunications. He is an expert on external audit, internal controls, U.S. generally accepted accounting principles, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filings. A dedicated alumnus, Draves was on campus regularly even prior to his current appointment to mentor and recruit School of Management students, serve on the Accounting Advisory Council, and guest lecture in a few accounting courses. So to get started, Mike, can you explain exactly why you decided to take on this role as executive in residence for our accounting program? And what exactly does your primary role entail? Sure. So um, I have had a great career in accounting and really enjoyed my time. Um, I did struggle a little bit with my transition from the academic world, I actually graduated from UB in accounting. And um, and even though I started in the accounting field right after finishing up at UB, you know, it didn't always come seamlessly and easily for me, right? And so part of what drove me to join UB is to see if I could help others um, make it just a little bit easier for them to transition into the work world, make sure that they find the right work opportunity for them and to make sure that folks really exceed their potential relative to what they can do by finding what they like, what clicks and and helping folks in a, in a small way um, get their start. So my role as executive in residence uh, really involves bringing to bear all the things that I learned over my career for the benefit of UB students. I actually teach an advanced auditing class in our Masters in Accounting program, and I'm active on campus counseling and coaching folks as they go through the career finding process, whether that's resume skills, uh, practicing interviews, and really figuring out the kind of things that tend to be difficult as a student, like figuring out, you know, what's the culture of the firm's really going to be like? Where am I going to fit in best? And how do I make the best decision for me about where do I, where do I start my career? Excellent. So you mentioned some some really great examples of things that you do as part of this role. What would you say is the most rewarding part? Uh, that's pretty clear, which is, you know, seeing students do well and achieve, right? Um, and there's a lot of important milestones along the way, whether it's getting invited to a, the first interview that a particular student gets invited to with a CPA firm or getting a job offer, right? That first job offer, it's stressful waiting out, waiting to see, you know, whether that job offer is really going to come, right? But seeing folks get that first job offer and then ultimately in a little bit longer term, you know, seeing folks go on to have successful careers in accounting 
really rewarding, challenging, interesting, right? And hearing stories about, hey, you know, this is really a great profession. There's so much to learn. There's so much to do. There's so much opportunity. And hearing those success stories for students is super rewarding for me. Excellent. So before you can become a success story, you're a student first, and the students might want to inquire as to what would they expect meeting with you? And is there a specific time that they should be reaching out to you for career advice? And how do they go about making that that connection with you? Sure. I mean, broadly, what I would say is um, earlier is better in your career, and it's never too soon to get started. Um, some of the best opportunities with the firms are fairly early in one's academic career. And therefore, you know, if you have a sense you're interested in accounting, uh, even though, yeah, we may not cross paths until your master's year uh, in terms of, you know, being in class, um, you know, the earlier, the better we can sit down. My door is always open. I have regular office hours. I'm on campus a lot. And my contact information is out there because I very much look forward to meeting with students. Again, you know, no time is is too soon, right? I just talked to a freshman the other day about, hey, evaluating opportunities, you know, that gives us the most time to figure out what you do. Um, it's almost like building blocks, right? And, and in order to get the best, most prestigious job opportunities once you graduate, it starts with activities and work experience, as well as good grades, obviously, um, when you're a freshman, when you're a sophomore. So it's never too early. And just because I teach at the master's level doesn't mean I'm not interested in talking with, uh, with undergrads. I'd say the earlier, the better. If you're interested, please reach out and we'll figure out a time to connect. Excellent. So if you're just starting grad school and they haven't had a chance to connect with you yet, they should really be doing that likely within their first semester just to really get things started. Absolutely. The the always the earlier the better. And it's just good to to build relationships. You know, relationships are really the grease that makes business happen. Um, and so I'm always up to meet new people and expand my network. And I would encourage everybody looking at at business and at accounting to do the same. So happy to meet with with anybody. Great, excellent. Now, we all know the, we all know that some students have that special spark that really makes them extra successful. So just kind of thinking back on the best interactions that you've had with your students, what do you find like what qualities and characteristics did they bring to the experience that you admired most? Sure. Um folks that do well and this is equally applicable in the profession of accounting is people that, you know, have a questioning mind, right? Don't always accept, accept the status quo, but, you know, wonder about, you know, why is it this way and what are the alternatives and, and, and how would that be? Um, importantly also is folks keeping an open mind, right? Um, being willing to try new and different things, um, not making up your mind in advance that you're not going to like something, right? Being willing to 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 give new and different things a chance. And again, um, you know, being open to building your network, meeting people, ex expanding your universe and expanding your horizons. And so I guess hand in hand with all of these things is is, you know, not being embarrassed to get involved, right? To ask questions, um, to 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 meet people for the first time. But there's a certain element of just going out there and doing it, right? We don't expect that that everybody's always going to have the right answer the first time around, right? But it's getting engaged in 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 thinking, asking questions, meeting people, and just kind of seeing where it goes. You know, those are the kinds of folks that that we see are successful. Excellent. So you, you kind of touched on this just now, talking about, you know, making those interactions and, and asking the questions. But once you're actually out in the accounting world, what do you find it, it takes to be successful in that realm? And what advice would you give to students that are embarking on their careers? Sure. As you said, it's it's really a lot of the same, right? Um, this uh, willingness to... to um to give new and different things a chance and and keep an open mind. Um, but importantly also is, you know, you will do well if you invest a lot of money, in, uh, sorry, invest a lot of time rather in, in your career search, um, finding where you really see yourself 
you know, clicking and fitting in, right? And so a successful career in accounting is certainly going to involve, um, you know, some hard work and and potentially some some long hours. You know, the rumor and reputation about accounting is uh, is true. There's something to be said for that, right? So you're going to be wanna wanna be with a team that you like being a part of the team, right? And so investing in finding the right culture, the right fit for you goes a long way to to career success, right? Because you're going to click with the folks and really be part of a great team and they're going to help foster you to a great a great career. So, um you know, continuing those habits of working hard, asking questions, thinking about alternatives and being a good team player, good communication skills. You know, I see all of those going a long way to fostering career success. Excellent. Now our students, and especially at the master's level, we know they have a really strong curriculum base. They're getting ready to take the CPA. Um, there's a lot of really great programming that we have within our uh, master's of accounting program. So can you speak a little bit to the uh, amazing placement rate of our students and really what our employers are, are looking for or seeing our students and make them strong candidates? Sure. We're really proud of our placement rate here at UB. Uh, folks who start in a career in accounting with a career objective of getting their license as a CPA have to get 150 credit hours of study. And so uh, folks go through and get our master's in accounting degree. And we've had a hundred percent placement rate mm -hmm. for each of the last couple of years, uh, you know, prior to graduation, right, in our in our master's in accounting program. Mm -hmm. And these are roles with the biggest and most prestigious CPA firms around the globe, frankly. Um, we've got an outstanding reputation with the firms. They know that when they hire a UB grad, that person will be well prepared to start in the profession and frankly continue. Um and and uh you know for most for most folks, the the career pinnacle is is admission to the partnership at the CPA firm, right? And and we've got partners um that are UB grads at at all the big firms, and we're really proud to say that. So UB grads are are positioned to do very very well in accounting. Excellent, thank you so much, Mike, for taking some time to talk to us a little bit about your role as executive in residence. I think one of the most important things that I got out of this conversation is if you haven't had a chance to meet with um, our wonderful executive in residence, please um, please do, especially if you are thinking about going to the master's program or you're already in the master's program, it's a really great opportunity for you to kind of get those next steps and that career advice. So before we head out, I just want to give you guys a, a little bit of encouragement to stay connected with us. Um, we have a really great uh, kind of uh, QR code here, which is a great opportunity if you wanted to talk about the MS accounting and how to apply for that program. There's a couple of different avenues in which you can do that. If you want to talk to some current students, we have um, those ambassadors available for you as well. And then, of course, I do have my contact information um, here as well. So I definitely encourage you to um, reach out and contact me if you have the chance as well. So I'll leave this up for you. And again, thank you so much, Mike, for taking some time to talk to us today. And uh, we hope to send some students your way. So thank you again. Sounds great. Thanks, Rebecca. Yes, and I look forward to talking to absolutely anyone who has some degree of interest in accounting, and we can figure out together whether you think it might be right for you. Thanks.